So this is how you can schedule a do not disturb mode on the iPhone. Let's get into it. You can now go ahead and open up the settings on your iPhone and scroll down to find the focus section. When you find it in here, it is marked by the moon icon on a purple background. So get inside and there are more modes you can customize. Since we want to customize the do not disturb mode, we're going to tap on this. And upon scrolling down a bit more, we have the scheduling. So if you click on add a schedule, you have more things to pick from. First of all, let me talk about smart activation, which means that it will automatically turn it on at the relevant times throughout the day based on signals like your location, app usage, and more. So if you would like to try it out, go ahead and do so. Perhaps it will work good for you. It is essentially based on using some productivity apps. If you would, for example, open up calendar every day at like 7 a.m. or whatever, the phone would then figure it out and it would just turn on this do not disturb mode upon that date, time and location data that it has. So you can do that if you wish. But a little bit more practical approach is to set up a time schedule, meaning that you get to pick the days during which it is supposed to be turned on and the beginning and end time. So you can choose that it's going to be scheduled from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. during work and it's going to be your work mode, right? So that's a possibility too. Another thing is the app mode, which is very useful to be honest because a lot of times when I open up Gmail or I open up a productivity app like a note taking or something I use where I need to focus, it is a good idea to open up that app and then just have everything else filtered. No notifications, no apps, no messages. So that's a good, cool feature too. And one last option is the location where, of course, you can enter an address or like your work environment or perhaps when you come back home or whatever it might be. But you can also just set it up this way. So that's how it works. I don't want to drag it out and make the video any longer than it needs to be. So hit the thumbs up if you like it, subscribe below, and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial in the future.